not sure if you guys can see that. See the corners, how it's kind of puckered, indented? But you can see the canvas is not real tight there. It's almost like it's loose at the edges. I'm not sure if that's coming across or not. But I'm wondering how to tighten up those canvases. Is there a way? I've heard spraying the back of the canvas with water will do that. Um, but before I do anything that could be detrimental, let's kind of make out a little, see this here? I can kind of put my finger underneath, or if I, when I brush across top, there's a little doop right there. So I'm wondering, same thing here, it kind of rolls along here. Um, that's something I, I want to tighten that up before I varnish it, before I finish it. So. Um, if anybody has any suggestions on how to do that without ruining it, please let me know. And I, I may practice it on uh, one of the ones I'm going to scrap before I do that. Okay, thanks. Hey guys. All right, so I've gotten several comments on Facebook. Um, I posted a picture of this canvas, um, and because this has the most dramatic. I think that shows up in the picture, the, the puckering corners um, where the canvas is loose. And several of you have said to dampen the back of the canvas with water. And I got a little pain on it too. But so I'm gonna dampen it with water, warm water. And then I am going to use a blow dryer to dry it on high heat. And let's see if it shrinks up. I don't have a spray bottle. But they said to kind of rub it in until the canvas is damp. So I'm gonna use our damp rag and just kind of wipe it around till it just starts to dampen up the fabric since I'd have to be rubbing it in anyways. You can even see the fabric, at least I can see the fabric from this side where it's rolling and loose here. And this, this was a, a value canvas um, from Michaels. So I think in the future maybe I'm going to stay away from those um, and stick with better quality. Maybe I won't have this issue, but then again, maybe it's something that you just have to learn to deal with and you have to know how to fix one way or another. So, of course, I do have a blow dryer out here. We're going to set it on hot and hot. Okay guys, so I decided to save you from having to listen to the incessant background noise of the blow dryer going off for the next two minutes and roughly five seconds. Uh, that is how long it took me to dry the back of this canvas. Um, and as you will see, it did make a noticeable difference uh, I have it on the very highest, the hot heat setting. And this is a 1875 watt uh, Conair blow dryer. Um, and it is great. I, I really like it. So this is uh, the hot and high setting on this blow dryer. And again, it took me two minutes to get this dry. Okay, uh, that is dry. Uh, it does look like it made a little bit of difference. You can still see here this little pucker, this wrinkle, but right here is where it stops. It did go further into the canvas. Same on this corner. So it goes right up to the edge of the wood there. Um, I'm guessing it's like putting a sweater in the dryer and taking it out the next day and realizing you've shrunk it. Um, so the spray bottle I'm guessing is good for getting into the corner there. Um, but that seems to be a success, but I'm going to have to um, get some water into the corner and do a little more. All right, we're going to try wet rag over a popsicle stick. Get in those corners. 
Okay, in about 15 seconds, you're going to see me realize that wrapping that cloth around the popsicle stick and trying to shove it deep into the corner is probably causing more damage uh, than it is uh, fixing the problem. So don't do what I do. Please learn from my mistakes. That's what these videos are for, right? Directly do popsicle stick. That's even better. Let's do it that way. So, water on the popsicle stick. Slide it back to the corner. And you can see the canvas gets a little bit darker shade when it's wet. So you can tell when you've gotten it damp. I'm gonna have to edit a bunch of this out because this is boring, I'm quite sure for you guys. Because I'm sitting here, I'm doing it, and it's boring for me too. So I'll just keep running a little water along the edges here. So I feel like that's where it's the loosest. And this is just clean, warm started out hot tap water, but now it's just warm tap water. Here we go again. High heat, high setting. Okay, yet again here I decided to record over the sound of that blow dryer going off for the next two minutes. Um, also speeding up the video uh, so you don't have to watch me blow into the corners for the next two minutes um, but as you can see I keep tilting that down into the corner so that it blows underneath between the pane of wood and the canvas itself um, and it really does do a great job so getting a little bit of water down there I didn't want to get too much water in there so that's why I did the popsicle stick just to kind of help it absorb into the canvas a little bit because you'll notice if you put water on the back of the canvas the first thing it wants to do is just kind of bead um, it doesn't want to soak in, so you do have to rub it in a little bit. So that popsicle stick back in there really does help it absorb into the canvas a little bit, helps it to take. And then using the blow dryer at different angles um, to get it underneath the corners of the wood um, really does work. Well... I think we have success, as you can see, hopefully. Smooth, smooth again. A little bit of a dimple right there. I'll go in and do that again, but I won't make you stick around for that. But the rest of it, look at that. this corner was probably the worst so that's that's something there but that's nice and smooth so uh, I've got a corner right here just this one corner on this one uh, I'm gonna touch up as well but so it works dampen the cloth a little bit of warm water and a blow dryer which most of us have sitting around on high heat until the canvas is dry and it tightens it up just like shrinking a sweater all right thanks guys